YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris with General's Comics. Guys, we're going to do two things today, and I'm going to make this fun. I'm going to be doing a new weekly thing, and it's called This Week in Mylars. Yes, basically, <laughs> it's a weekly Mylar uh, showcase because, guys, for me, I can't bag everything in Mylar. So, I decided to section off the few books that I do put in Mylar, whether it's because it's maybe a key issue or it just has an awesome cover. Uh, and you want to show it off at some Mylar, so they're special to me. So, it's going to be a special showcase every week, okay, guys? Now, secondly, before we go into that, we're going to do a little adventure in comic book collecting, okay, guys? So, before I show anything off here out of this nice stack, I'm going to talk to you guys about comic book adventures. And I went on one today. And it seems that comic book collecting gets a little more fun when there's some kind of adventure involved. And guys, I'm telling you, I'm out of my mind exhausted right now. But it was worthy of the adventure. So, I had to get up. My cat. I had to get my little kitten. His name's Madison. He's a boy. After Madison Bumgarner. Uh, <laughs> of the Giants. My kids named him. We had to get him up hecka early to go and get him fixed. So. So. I had to keep him in my room all night long because he couldn't eat. So. I don't sleep good anyways. He kept me up all night. I didn't get no sleep. Maybe like two hours spotty here and there. I had to wake up at 6 a.m. I had to drive him about, it took me about 40 minutes in the morning, bright and early at 6.30, dropped him off at the clinic, came all the way back home, and then I left at 2 p.m. to go back, and it took me like five hours. Crazy Sacramento traffic. I'm exhausted, man, but get this, guys. I was in need of some, some boards. I was all out of boards. I've been you know, rebagging and boarding, so much stuff, still trying to organize here. And I was like, you know what, I need some boards. I can't go to Vacaville, where I go, you know, usually uh, every week. To, to That's where I've been getting supplies mostly from. I'm not going to go all the way to A1, because they're way out of the way, even though I hit those guys up for their sales. Where am I going to go? So, I googled the closest one uh, comic book shop that was along my drive off of uh, Interstate 80. And there was one literally right out of downtown. I never heard of it before and I don't know why. Right off the freeway called, and I should have grabbed the card, but it's called Broadway Comics and Cards. So it's right off of the highway. I, I, I'm on my way to Sacramento to get my kitten. I stop here and it's this little kind of a hole in the wall place. Turns out it's been there since 1988. I don't know why I've never been there before. But I go in. And it was cool, um, you know, n nothing, nothing fancy. Like I said, hole in the wall. Um, but I go in there for boards, and I find some stuff. So I just said, oh, let me let me check the the the, uh, the bins, you know, for some for some uh, see if I can fill some holes. And the one thing that I've been trying to find lately, and you guys know from my other haul, if you watched it from A one, is my Wonder Woman run, and I noticed out of all this hype of uh, Adam Hughes and the Adam Hughes Wonder Woman issues, that's basically what I don't have. If you see here, my main ones that I'm missing are like 138 to like, you know, the one, 170s and 180s. And that's when he was doing the cover art. So I go in there and they don't have much, but they did have a few. And I picked them up and there was a couple of the Adam Hughes and, uh, Freaking sweet. I was so glad to find these for only $3. So there was only two. But uh, I was just checking on eBay, and these things are going for definitely a little more than this. Uh, there's 143 and then 144. So th those are both uh, Adam Hughes covers. And then I found one more that I needed, 207. That's a really cool cover, too. I've been seeing this guy's art, um, and I forget what his name is. But there's his autograph. I forget, but he's got some good stuff too. So, uh, and then I, he had a dollar, a couple dollar boxes. So I checked. I was like, why not? Legionnaires thirteen, ironically. Adam Hughes, <laughs> and fourteen. 
Adam Hughes cover. So that was cool for a dollar each. And then I got a couple more dollar ones. Uh, some Luke Cage Power Man number 30. Starfire. And, and then I got my boards. And then I went on my way. Got my kitten. Poor little guy. Brought him home. I tried to pass out. I fell asleep for like five minutes and that was it. That's all I could do, guys. It sucked. All right, guys. Check this out. This week in Mylars. <laughs> so some of this you guys may have already seen uh, in recent videos. So it's going to be just a kind of, you know, summary through some of those that I already showed off. But I also got some new ones. And these, uh, this first one, well, these first two, I'm super excited. Astonishing X-Men number one. Um, what's his name? Mark Brooks. Cover, I believe. So awesome uh, cover right there. I'm going to read this book. Uh, this run, I'm going to start reading this run, but I'm not going to read this book. I have to go get the regular copy probably. And I had to get the Peter Parker Spectacular number one variant that I've been seeing everyone get. So this is the first time I actually like went after some variants. And real quick again, there's the Betty Page number one variant that I showed off in, like, I believe, my last video. And these are just some that I pulled out or that I found when I was uh, bagging and boarding stuff that wasn't organized yet. Here's X-Men number five, the Curse of the Mutants tie-in. Just a sweet cover there. Um, I don't know who the artist is. Uh, I didn't check, but to be honest, it kind of reminds me of, where was that book? It kind of reminds me of this guy that I just showed. I wonder if it's the same artist. I don't see his, um, I don't see a signature. So, I don't know. It might not be. It just might be the same style, same technique. Next up, some more X-Men. Here's Uncanny X-Men 491. I dig it. Here's the uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number two Jim Lee variant Psylocke. Show that one off. And then the new Flash number one. This is a nice crisp copy. Love it. And then as I showed off about a week ago um, is my uh, Greg Horns that I'm really getting into. I've been Googling this guy. You know What's really interesting is I tried Googling like Greg Horn art or comics on YouTube and nothing really came up. So um, I wonder how that works. Like when you tag, you, you you know, you put your tags in your YouTube videos. And if anyone's ever doing videos showing off Greg Horn stuff, how do I find it? So if any of you guys have videos that you showcase some of his stuff, please let me know. And like maybe let me know which video it is because I really am on his stuff right now. Hardcore. And of course, the uh, the Wonder Woman, uh, Blackest Night, number one. And I found this at, at the spot today. One dollar. A little risque, but uh, I mean, it was Greg Horn, so I was like, shoot, why not? It's the older one. I think it was like nine, 98 or 99. Espers? I have no idea. I never even heard of this image book. But he did the whole book. It's black and white on the inside. And then there was the Shadow Reavers. So, uh, that's this week in Mylar, guys. It's so refreshing and nice when you can have a nice stack of books. And I only got one hand here, so, but to have a nice stack of books so neatly packaged in some Mylars. And for us collectors that tend to have, you know, that were very uh, visual as well as... Uh, we, we put our senses in, into the collecting, you know, um, the feel, the look. And that's where that OCD comes out in some of us collectors because it's just, it's, it's, it's such a good feel in, in the neatness 
of mylars as well as obviously how well they protect the books. So I wish I can afford, you know, 12,000 mylars for all my books, but it just, it doesn't happen like that. I'll probably buy one pack every like, I don't know, four or six months and just, uh, you know, bare minimum goes in there. So that's what I got for now, guys. Hopefully I'll do another one next week and show some more off. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my, uh, crazy adventure today and found some some real cool things so right on guys thank you so much for watching till next time